guys, so we're back with another Lay's taste test, and this is the second. Second time. Second group of people, I guess. So we went, we're at Target, and we got the four bags. Okay. Uh, we got Wavy's West Coast Truffle Fries. Those look really good. They look good, probably it's disgusting. The next one we got Southern Biscuit and Gravy. And then we got the Kettle Cooked Greek Town Gyro. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Gyro? gyro? Yeah. And then the last one we got was the New York Ruben Flavored. Hi, know it's all over the United States. We got the West Coast here, we got the Southern here, we got the East Coast, and Greek Town, where that's at. I wonder yeah. if they're on spicy. I wonder the New York Ruben is spicy because it has a jalapeno on the front. That's a pickle. Ah, oh, I bet I taste that pickle. Taste that pickle, I want to taste it. It's a pickle on the front. Ah, uh, but that, which one first? Which one you first? Which one do you really want to try? I want to try it. I want to try that one. Okay, so from one of these two. From these three. The Ruben and the gravy, which one? Stay for that. Oh, we'll try the Ruben. You want first? Ruben it is. So we're trying these ones first. And this one was created by Jeff Solensky. And it gives like the description of them on the back too. So just so that you guys know we're not voting. You wanna taste them? Yeah. I don't vote. Smell good? It almost smells like a Pulled pork sandwich. I kind of smell pickle though. It smells like a barbecue pulled pork sandwich. It has nothing to do with Ruben. It's a culinary student, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, what I do taste is the bread and cheese, mm -hmm. but you do not taste the Ruben anywhere. It just tastes bread and cheese. You don't taste the horse fries or anything like that. I don't know if you can't eat any more in Hollywood. It tastes pretty good though. No, I'm starting to taste it now. Huh. Actually, not a bad flavor. I thought it tastes weird because of the pickle, but you don't taste the pickle. Mm -mm. What you do taste in the beginning is that sourdough bread with a little bit of cheese. You taste, I taste no horseradish, but I do taste a little bit of ribbon afterwards. Keep eating more, you'll taste it better. Yeah. But this one. Okay, that one's done. The next one we got is a Southern Biscuit and Gravy that we're going to try first. This was made by Haley Green. And I guess her grandma made this from Tennessee. From a cookbook, so I'm gonna get a try. Ooh, this bag actually does smell like biscuits and gravy. This guy, how he got the idea is because he works in a restaurant, and I guess the Reuben sandwiches were very popular. But it's New York. But New York. I could smell the gravy and biscuits on it. Oh my god. Oh, you can. It smells like a bag of just like, gravy. Yeah. Oh, that tastes like gravy. This is a mango though. I taste no biscuit. No, I do. I taste the top of the biscuit. But it tastes more gravy. I'm assuming this would be like a chicken white gravy. You don't taste a chicken white gravy. I'm assuming, I don't know what kind of gravy it is. It looks like it's a white gravy with chicken, right? Or dumplings like that? Chicken, oh yeah, it's what it tastes like. 
the chicken dumpling soup, soup with gravy. I don't taste biscuits. That shit is disgusting. That sounds that sound disgusting. It's more, it's more like a chi chicken dumpling soup. Which is good. Which is good. But the gravy doesn't taste like that gravy in the picture. It tastes like a black gravy. The next one we're gonna try is the West Coast Trouble Fries. I'm not gonna lie, at work I eat a bunch of these. Same way with Parmesan and some of the parsley. I was given the idea from Angie Fu, who actually lives close by in Irvine, California. And she sees it all the time in a, in a restaurant, she says. So each time she thinks of truffle with mouth water, as the description says. So, um, I guess she didn't make it. But I mean, I guess she just got the idea from somewhere. It just smells like a bag of chips with cilantro or parsley. Like a bag of chips, parsley. I just smell a bag of chips. Like regular potato chips, that's what I smell. No. The hype, to be honest, the hype of this, or Jamaic. I'm gonna tell you what I told her. I told her it's just regular, it's like sour cream and onion chips, but no sour cream, just. Just says onions and parsley. Oh, after a while you get that taste of Parmesan cheese, but it just is like a sour cream. Think of a sour cream and onion chip. Just with no sour cream, add parsley and a little bit of cheese. Pretty much. I mean, it's not a good long time. The chips is green. You can tell it's green. You can still put so much parsley in that, but. It's alright. I was expecting better. I told her. And I told her, didn't I tell you? Now. The last one. The one that I always wanted to try was a Greek town gyro. Which was the idea of James Wagner. He's from Texas. From Texas, yeah. There's a Greek place apparently in his town, Texas. And they use, this is based off meat. Tzatziki sauce, onions, lettuce, and feta cheese for uh, fresh pita. So, mm. this was Greek. <laughs> and Greek has a smell. I don't know what that smell is, you guys. It's really small. Oh, whatever. Okay, the te texture on this chip is really hard. It's like biting a hard tortilla. Really crunchy. Can you guys tell he's a culinary student? Mmm. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you what it tastes. I taste onions, sour cream, lettuce. And bread. I don't taste the meat or the tomatoes in there. I kind of do taste the meat. I mean, yeah, too. Oh yeah, it tastes exactly like it. Mmm. Really good. If you ever go to a Greek place and order something like this, it's almost exactly the same taste. Just your food will be softer, this is harder. <laughs> I kept eating them because I'm hungry, so yeah. <laughs> After a while you get the taste. Yeah, with these these four, the more you eat it, the more you get the actual flavor of the the food. It's like wasabi when they the wasabi leg when they won everybody was shocked. I was shocked. Yeah. I didn't even taste it. All right, so let's go in order from what we taste. From what your favorite to your least favorite. All right. What was your most favorite? My most favorite. So my choice would be from the New York Ruben. 
with sour bread, cheese. I don't taste the horseradish at all. This no. One. But I don't taste the horseradish or the Greek tongue gyro because that one you taste all the fresh vegetables, but the only difference is that's harder and this is softer to chew on. So I think my favorite would probably be the gyro. Greek tongue gyro. Your second? My second favorite would be this one, the New York Reuben. Your third? Between this, the truffle, and the southern biscuit gravy, gravy. And my least favorite would have to be this. It just tastes like a potato chip, but just parsley on it. I think my favorite would have to be the New York Reuben. And then my second favorite would probably be the... The gravy? I don't know. It's hard because that actually tastes like all the flavors on the picture. But I like, I love gravy. I love gravy. Let me, let me tell you how you force your pace. Lay's, to be honest, got down with these flavors. The first batch had nothing to do with like the macaroni and cheese baking or whatever. Yeah. Nothing. Now the second batch that they made, to be honest, is dead on like the pitcher. Just most most one bag has more flavor and the other bag has less flavor. So like for this one, you much flavor. This one has the same flavor, the only thing you can't taste is the horseradish. This is perfect flavor. That's perfect flavor, the Gyro Town. And for the southern, you could taste the gravy like a like potato gravy, dumpling yeah. soup, but just a little bit of bread. So, sorry to cut you off. Go with your name. I think I have to go with this one, just because I love gravy so much and I can really taste the gravy. The third would have to be this one, and then the least would be that one, just because I had high expectations for this one. And I tasted fries like that, and it tastes. This is just tastes bland. Good, yeah. It just tastes bland. Yeah. It okay. tastes good, but just tastes bland. So what should I think? Thumbs down for this one? Mm -hmm. Thumbs down? Yeah. Thumbs down. I give thumbs up for all these three. All these three thumbs it's up. It's hard to choose which one's my favorite. But yeah, but this one, I but think they could have done better with the, um, the truffle fries. To me. They could have tried these harder. At least like, made it like truffle fries with like shredded cheese and bacon on them. Well, you know what they should have done too? They should have put ridges on the entire thing. And yeah, ridges, it just, the chip is green. You can tell it's green. You can tell this chip was made in like parsley batter. You can tell it's green off the bat. You probably could have used a little bit more seasoning with that. Like Just I said, it tastes a little bland. Or bust out like what well, we do at work. We make truffle fries, but with shredded cheese and bacon. And hit a parsley. And that's it. So that's it for our video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're being fat asses. Because we haven't eaten, so we literally bought these and we wanted to open them in the car, but no. Okay, now you know. My favorite, Gyro. Her favorite, Ruben. My second favorite, Biscuits Southern. and Gravy. My second favorite. Oh, yeah. My third, favorite, Chuck Fries. These favorite. So our battery is going to die. So yeah, just comment down below if you guys have tasted these and what's your guys' favorite and least favorite. And that's it. We'll probably see you in the next taste test challenge. Or if you have any other stuff you want us to try. And one word else. Big <laughs> God. Catch you later.